There is a passage from a movable feast in which Hemingway spies a girl in a Paris cafe. I have seen you, beauty, he boldly writes, and you belong to me now. You belong to me, and all of Paris belongs to me. This possessiveness, I understand. As I write and photograph and film, little by little I start to claim this city. With passages written by me, with images captured by me. I am an ardent admirer, a bold pursuer. I have seen you, Paris, and you belong to me now. Are the ones I love best. Leisurely, almost lazily exploring quiet places. La Petite Centaur in the 17th arrondissement this morning. Train tracks and tunnels. A walking path, shady and quiet. Lots of trees. According to this signage, the section of the Pereira Trench between Rue de Cessure and Rue Alphonse de Neuville stopped its traffic in 1996. Such a pretty park with little ponds and these bridges with railings shaped to look like tree branches. Features I have come to recognize as characteristics of the architect Jean-Charles Alphand. There is also an enchanting glass and green wrought iron greenhouse hidden behind some trees.
Now I am in Batino's cemetery, very pretty and quiet. It is starting to drizzle again. I just want to linger here, write a little, read a little. The drizzle ended as suddenly as it began. I like it here very much. I'm reading Jhumpa Lahiri, Whereabouts, a quiet book for this quiet day. It is a novel but reads like a memoir about the inner life of a woman living alone in Milan. It is not a plot-driven book, more meditative. So much about solitude, which I know intimately about. I could probably write a book just like this one. The rain in Paris comes and goes delicately, dancing in and out as if it can't decide whether to stay or go. And the sky dresses itself in periwinkle blue with swaths of white muslin. I sat by myself in front of a crypt with a beautiful cerulean blue door. Lots of trees and a patch of blue sky overhead. I wish I could claim this small piece of Paris. I'm sure the dead won't mind. I suppose I'm getting the best of both worlds, warm and sunny, then cool showers. It has made me yearn for something comforting. So at the end of my wanderings today, I tackled beef bourguignon. Not as intimidating as I thought. It's just beef stew after all, a lot like cocova.
Ah, this beef bourguignon. The best thing I have ever made. I know I keep saying that, but seriously, this one tops all the others.